Happy Sunday, everybody. I just wanted to give you a very small cheese update. It's not going to be a very long video, but I wanted to show you. Uh, as you can tell, I could actually remove the paper that I placed around the, uh, the cheese. It just simply comes off now. And that's because it has pulled out a lot of moisture. It's been, I would say, uh, maybe a week that I've had this in the uh, in my garage. One is gone, as you can tell. We ate it soft, but this is still like if I press on it, it's still soft, but it's firmed up quite a bit. And like I said in the. Uh, was it in my previous? I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do put salt. I'm not sure if you can see it. I put salt on my paper and I put salt on top. Not only is it a protective coating, but what salt does is it actually pulls all the moisture out of the cheese. So I'm going to crack one open just to show you. It is nice and soft right now. So you can use this as a sliceable cheese or you can just let it age a little more. And there is our beautiful, beautiful cheese. If you look at it, it looks like a Parmigiano. Really, really beautiful. That's just a little piece of coconut that I didn't, uh, I didn't quite mix into the cheese. but nice and soft it cracks open like a parmigiano cheese and it tastes mm, better than the first time i had it mm -hmm. very very good beautiful really nice <clears throat> really nice and strong so you can now take this cheese and you can put it in a bag and in a cotton bag and just let it bag like this nice little bag you could put it in one of those if you want to age it but you can grate this now as it is I'm going to show you You can simply take this and you can just grate it. So it is gratable right now. There it is. Or you can wait until it gets a little firmer. So there you go. Beautiful cheese that you can make for your family. And you can serve this. If you make it ahead of time, you can serve it. You still have time because this took me a week. And it's all because I'm using the lupini flour. Sorry. I'm just like enjoying this cheese I have in my mouth. So, like I said, you don't have to wait till it gets very firm. You can still grate it now. Or you can just cut it up and maybe... Put it on a tray with some beautiful fruit, some crackers, enjoy it over Christmas, or just leave it for uh, grating on pasta. This is going to go on our pasta over the holidays. It's going to be just perfect. Like I said, it's a very small video, but I did want to give you a little update. It is now available as a PDF file if you want to have all the instructions on how I make it and what I use, what you can use. Uh, there's all kinds of alternatives that you can do. And I just want to say thank you guys. And I hope you give this one a try. And come back and let me know how you like it. By the way, there's another thing that you can actually do. Is I do coat my cheese sometimes on the outside. You could just put a little bit of olive oil and just coat your disc. 
And it's also a nice little protective layer for your cheese. Don't forget, if you want to support this channel, you could always go over to my website. And I do have some PDF files for you to, to buy. Um, and I also have some free uh, recipes that are on there already. So I'm going to say I love you guys and I'll see you soon.